Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior, and today I'm very excited to be launching a new series on my channel. This is a series that I've been wanting to do ever since my channel started. I'm super, super pumped about it. So yeah, go ahead and let me know what you think, and let's get into it. So this series is, I'm going to call Weird Weapons That Work. And the idea is, I find a weapon, a class setup, a way to use a weapon, a play style that seems like it's not going to work, that's out of the quote-unquote meta, that I don't see lots of people talking about or using, and then I talk about why I like it, how to make it effective, and yeah. This is something that I do a lot in Call of Duty games. I like finding different ways to play, play ways to play classes, weapons, etc., that lots of people aren't using, you know, you don't see competitive players using, you know, that you don't see lots of YouTubers talking about. So today, for the first episode, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite weapons in the game. This is the EBR 2000 Sniper Rifle. So, before you guys go, what? Uh, that gun is awful. If you've tried it and used it as a sniper rifle, you probably do think it is awful. It's a semi-automatic sniper rifle. It can get one-shot kills. Personally, I feel like it's not that great. It has tons and tons of recoil. Still hit markers way more than it should for the amount of recoil it has. And so overall, I, I wasn't impressed with it. I was hating it. Then I remembered that if you hold Y or whatever you your, your control is to change weapons. I play on the Xbox One, so it's Y. Then it will turn it into an assault rifle. And so... What this does is it will make your gun into a laser assault rifle. And when I was messing around with this, I realized this is probably my favorite quote unquote assault rifle in the game. Uh, it destroys people. I have no problems competing with the K bar, competing with the UMP, competing with the E RAD, and competing with sniper rifles at long ranges. Like, this gun absolutely destroys, and I was super surprised because I expected a slow-firing, high-damage assault rifle. It's actually a very fast-firing assault rifle, and it's got, I think, a 30-something-around magazine in assault rifle mode. But, yeah, so what I recommend doing with this gun to make it good is uh, you can use it stock. You can use it with no attachments. You can use it with a couple different things, but I think because it's a sniper rifle and it has the handling properties of a sniper rifle, there are some really important things you need to put on your class to try and maximize the effectiveness of it. So the first attachment that I think is a must, and the only one that I think really is a must, is the quick draw grip. So the quick draw grip, like I said, it has the default aim down sight speed of a sniper rifle, and it's actually slower than some of, of, of the other sniper rifles, even in assault rifle mode. So, I, uh, I would say that it's really not that fantastic of, you know, to, of an ADS time. Like, with the quick draw grip, you'll notice a massive, massive difference in just how fast you're able to react to people, especially since it has such a fast fire rate. It feels like, to me at least, that it's sort of needs that quick draw to compete in close range. The next attachment is stock. Now this is one of the last attachments you unlock on it. I know you have to grind and get a bunch of kills with the gun, which like I said, it's fairly easy, especially considering this gun destroys people even with no attachments. But that stock will also let you move around very quickly, much faster than you should be able to, or than it feels like you should be able to with a sniper rifle, LMG, assault rifle hybrid weapon um yeah that stock will just make it so that you can strafe to side to side while still getting kills and being able to actually have normal assault rifle like handling properties the next attachment i recommend that's not really required but i tend to run anyway is foregrip uh just because one if you do decide to toggle it back over to a sniper rifle the foregrip will let you will let you actually get somewhat decent shots off still. Whereas if you didn't have it like that, 
it's really difficult to get a follow-up shot. Um, the other thing is, it's just, it's a gun with a rather fast fire rate, and so you really want to be able to control that fire rate and get out max damage. In my opinion, it just feels better with a grip, so... Yeah, that's the main attachments I recommend running. The other thing that I think is really important if you're going to use this quote-unquote sniper rifle as an assault rifle is the using the Merc trait called Man at Arms. That trait will allow you to have full movement speed no matter what weapon you're using. So normally sniper rifles have a much slower movement speed than, you know, SMGs, than if you're running around with your knife, even than assault rifles. But the way that Man at Arms works is it completely negates the movement penalty for weapon classes. So that means you're moving at the same speed with the sniper rifle, assault rifle thing as if you had an SMG or as if you were running around with a pistol or knifing. And I think that really is what makes this gun perform in a crazy way. People don't expect you to be able to counter this. Um, don't expect you to be using a gun like this, and so they get very surprised when they get killed by you. But I will say uh, you're welcome to run an optic of, an optical attachment on this sniper rifle, but it's not going to be helpful because you can only run sniper rifle optics, and when you toggle the sight down, you're going to lose whatever that optic was, and you're going to get the default iron sight for the assault rifle mode. That said, the iron sight for the assault rifle mode happens to be actually my favorite iron sight or default optic in this entire game. I absolutely love the iron sight. It's basically like a red dot sight inside of a crosshair, and it just has a really clear sight picture. I, I really enjoy it. Like, if I could put this optic on all of my assault rifles and LMGs and sniper rifles and probably some machine guns, I would do it. Unfortunately, I can't. So... As far as playstyle, you can see when I'm running around with this gun, just use it as an assault rifle. Pretend it's your favorite assault rifle. Uh, after a few games, you should start to feel just as confident in medium to close range even with this gun as you would with an NV4 or with the Volk or with the K-Bar. And so I recommend, yeah, just think of this gun as an assault rifle. Don't even try to use it as a sniper rifle in my opinion. At least until it either gets a buff or foregrip gets a buff for it or something. But, yeah, this is one of my favorite guns in the game right now. I have this all the way maxed out. I almost have all the camos. I think I, I, think I have gold on this gun now. But, anyway, yeah, this is one of my most used class setups. One of my go-to class setups right now. And I highly recommend you give it a shot. So, I'm... My name has been the Newbie Warrior. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Please try out the EBR 2000 in assault rifle mode. I highly recommend it. And stay newbie. Drone. Enemy movement is hot. Triangulating. Enemy scarab active.